Hello, hello, this is India. Welcome to my channel. This is my very first YouTube video, so I am super excited about it. It's gonna be fun, so I hope you guys enjoy. Today I'm going to be doing a question and answer video based off the questions you guys left for me on my Instagram. So if you don't already follow me on Instagram, make sure you do that. My handle is boop, right here, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> so anyways, let's get to it. You guys asked so many good questions. I'm gonna do as many as I can and then maybe I'll have to do a part two. And then I also want to do a video that's devoted completely to America's Next Top Model so you guys can get all of your questions answered having to do with Top Model. Let's begin! Let's start with the most common question I get, which is, why is your name India? Why oh why? Well, my mom loved the movie Gone with the Wind, and I've never seen it actually, which is bad, but um, there's this character named India, and my mom just heard it, and liked it, and bam. How do you juggle work and your amazing relationship? At times it is hard to juggle modeling, which is so inconsistent and unpredictable, and a relationship. Um, I know a lot of models deal with this because we're always traveling and flying around. So our trick was the three week rule. I need a manicure. So we would never go three weeks without seeing each other. Um, so it was long distance but we got to see each other pretty frequently. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Alice in Wonderland without a doubt. Also I love She's the Man um, but I have a lot of favorites. I also like Knowing. That's kind of a creepy one. Yeah. Okay. Would you rather travel around the world or have social media? So I have to pick social media or traveling? That's a hard question. <laughs> Without a doubt, traveling. But unfortunately, in my career, it's almost impossible to work without freaking Instagram. I wish it wasn't as important as it is, but it is. Okay, what was my favorite photo shoot ever? My favorite photo shoot would probably be the one I did not too long ago in London. Um, it was for the cover story for Roller Coaster magazine, and it was a completely Burberry story, so it was amazing. I was the first one to wear most of those coats, so I felt pretty freaking special and special and special. We shot the editorial before the collection even came out, so that was really cool. We were like two hours outside of London um, at the White Cliffs of Dover. Oh my god, if you haven't been there, go. I want to get the water. Thank you. Let's continue. <clears throat> what is the hardest obstacle you've had to overcome throughout life and throughout your career? I would say the biggest obstacle Actually in both was probably just uh, my body image. I I was never like sickly or anything, but I would just eat myself alive with terrible thoughts about how I was ugly and fat and my waist was too big and my shoulders are too broad and my hands are too fat. It's like I would dissect every little bit of my body and find something that was wrong with it. I mean, my weight has been a little bit of an issue in the modeling industry, but I'm finally at a point where I don't care and I'm ready to work for the clients that want to book me for the body I have now, which is a pretty amazing feeling to finally be here because it's took me long enough. And a lot of girls never really reach this point, so I should make a whole other video on this as well, but I'm super body positive now and I'm confident in myself and like, finally I've overcome this issue, you know? <sighs> what are your long-term goals for modeling slash your career? Also, what's your other top passion aside from modeling? That is a loaded question. I'm the kind of person who tends to spread myself a little too thin. I'm what they call an inch tall and a mile wide. <laughs> it's like, I dabble in like everything but I just need to commit to something. You know, it's like modeling, okay, I've committed to that, but you can't just be a model. 
and you know I've like dabbled in acting dabbled in DJing I used to make shoes it's like I've tried a lot of different things I'm just I need to focus and make something actually stick so I'm hoping that YouTube will stick and this will become a new passion of mine let's hope anyway oh but my goal for my career I want to have a beauty campaign whether that's for makeup like skincare jewelry I just want to have a here up campaign and be the face of a major company that's that would be ideal what is your favorite quote those who matter don't mind and those who mind don't matter and that's by Dr. Seuss my favorite guy so those who matter they don't care and those who do care, forget them. Hope that makes sense. What's your favorite song? I will forever love Hell's Bells. Best intro in any song ever written in the entire world. But my favorite songs right now are mostly coming from Petite Biscuit's new album. Um, he's one of my favorite artists and he just released his new album like a week ago. So I've been obsessing. So I'm getting a lot of questions all about how to become a model um, and lots of other just modeling questions. So I've decided that I'm going to create a series of videos just describing how to get your foot in the door, um, what are the next steps, how to take digitals, sort of some requirements for the industry. I'm just going to make this really awesome series of videos all about modeling. So stay tuned for that. What are your favorite TV shows? I love Friends. I'm one of the biggest Friends fans you'll probably find around. I rock at Friends trivia. I also love Breaking Bad. I'm so not a series person. Friends was the only series I had ever finished, but Breaking Bad was so good. I could watch it four more times, but I just recently finished it, so gotta take a little break, you know? You know. Have you ever considered acting? Absolutely. Shout out to Comedy Central. Anyways, um, <laughs> so yes, I have considered acting. My management actually has a TV and film department, so I've been going on lots of auditions through them, and I actually just booked my first one. I also have a commercial agent, so I hope that with them and with the TV and film, I will be doing lots of acting in the near future. Who is your celebrity crush, both male and female? Male, Justin Timberlake. And female, Candace Swanepoel, of course, and I'm so excited to see her back on that runway at the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show this year. Who's with me? Okay. How do you feel when people compare you to Gigi? Are you okay with that? I think that should be addressed. <laughs> I do too. It gets a little redundant, you know? It's like, I'm told at least five times a day like in person that I look like Gigi Hadid so being told like 5,000 times over social media every day does get a little old but that is an amazing person to be compared to and honestly I'm flattered I take it as a compliment of course how do you as a model combat the impact social media has on young girls women of unrealistic body expectations and promote positive body image and confidence great question I love that so I mentioned a little bit of body positivity stuff in the beginning of this video and I think oh, this is an issue that is like really really close to my heart seriously and especially with all the social media expectations that they're putting out there it's stupid people don't pay attention it's like you have to know when people are taking a photo they're trying to make their body look as best as it can a and B there are so many editing softwares out there. I'm not saying that all those beautiful people are fake, um, but some of them are. So you just, you can't expect that that's the norm. I, I don't mean this in a cheesy way at all, but all bodies are truly beautiful. We are humans and we're, we, it's just, it's just a body. You know what I mean? What's inside is what's different in every one of us, but a body is a body. Who cares if you have four legs and two heads and whatever it's like it's literally just a body it doesn't change who you are inside once we can break this like this wall inside our inside our heads and say yes I love myself and I love my body that's when things start to go forward everyone's working 
towards their ideal body, right? Aren't we all? But each person's standard of ideal should be um, unique to their self. Like for me, I'm not trying to get to that wafy model skinny anymore because I'm just not made to be that skinny. You know what I mean? And I don't even want to be anymore. I am so happy with my natural weight and I just try and work out to stay toned because I like the, I like how I look when I'm a little toned, you know? So it's all about developing standards for yourself and not following standards that somebody else put into place. Screw them, honestly. But so I'm getting a lot of questions about like, how do you stay yourself with social media or the harsh modeling industry or any of that stuff? Um, and the big thing for me is to separate work and play. If you separate work and play, you're able to stay true to yourself outside of castings, auditions, photo shoots, you know? It's like you go there, you do your job, and then you leave and go do your thing. You know, whether that's like hiking or maybe you like chess or swimming or, you know, whatever. Making sure that your whole lifestyle is not surrounded around modeling, I think is really important. How often do you work out and what do you like to do for sports? Well, it goes up and down. When I first arrived in LA, I was working out every day with a personal trainer and then doing boxing on top of that, like once a week. So I was pushing my body so freaking hard. Now I've toned it down just a little bit. I still go like, you know, several times a week as much as I can, honestly. Um, but I'm not doing it as intense as I was. That was a little crazy. And as far as sports go, I really want to start playing beach volleyball in LA. Um, I'm gonna try and round up a few people who know how to play and find a team somewhere. So if you know anywhere that does beach volleyball in LA where I can just like sign up, let me know, please. Everyone's asking about my purple hair and if I'm ever gonna go back to my rainbow unicorn do. Maybe, I'll say maybe. Honestly, in the modeling world, there's pretty few castings that will ask for a purple haired model. There are some, sure, there are some, but there's a lot more that ask for a blonde model. So as far as getting the most work while I'm still developing myself, I need to be blonde. Sorry, hope you guys are okay with that. What is the weirdest pickup line a guy has used on you? Oh my God, that's from Hey Trav, Hey, that's my girl, hey. The weirdest pickup line would probably be when a guy like sprinted up to me, actually kind of a handsome guy, but anyways, he like tapped me on the shoulder and was like, nice ankles, and then walked away. I was like, what? Does that even count as a pickup line? I don't really know, but I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> ankles, who compliments ankles? Do you have any pets? <laughs> no, I want a dog so bad. What's your favorite way to de-stress after a long day? Relaxing, watching a movie or a TV show with a root beer. I love root beer. Why did you finally decide to create a YouTube channel and what is your YouTube channel going to be about? So I finally decided to do YouTube because I thought it was a great way to show my personality beyond my pictures. Like you should know just as much about my personality as you do about my image. But right now that's totally unbalanced. And my YouTube channel is going to be about everything. <laughs> I'm going to do a lot of these like one-on-one -on -one talking to the camera, like talking to you guys. Um, but then I also plan to do some funny videos with my boyfriend, my brothers. There's going to be some good stuff. And one of the things I promise I will do is put out a lot of videos about modeling, how to become a model, um, things like that. Because boy, do I wish I had someone telling me that stuff when I first started. It can make a world of a difference. What's your favorite food? I love ice cream so much, but I also really like string cheese, mandarin oranges, pizza. At first I thought you were half Asian. Maybe it's because of your eyes? I get that all the time. Um, to my knowledge, I do not have any Asian in me. I'm pretty positive, but um, I am Czech. I'm Eastern European, um, but I'm not 100% sure like exactly what part of what I am. I'm a big mix. So I think I'm gonna do one of those um, genealogy tests where you swab your mouth and send it in. And I was thinking it might be a cool video to um, 
read my results for the first time on camera and make a video about it. So comment below and let me know if you think that's a good idea or if you have any other ideas, please let me know down there. I have so many ideas for YouTube videos, so it really actually does help if you guys comment and tell me what you want to see. Your top 10 list of countries you want to visit. Okay, South Africa, Iceland, Vietnam, Italy again, Spain, Brazil, Indonesia, the Czech Republic, Morocco, Egypt, and I have to add an 11th. I really want to go to the Philippines because so many people are asking if I'm ever going to come. And yes, I do want to visit all you guys. So maybe we can do a meet and greet or something. Favorite ice cream flavor. I love the Tonight Dough, which is a Ben & Jerry's. Oh, it's so good. In fact, I have it in my fridge right now. I might go have some. Hmm. Embarrassing moment during a photo shoot. This isn't really embarrassing, but kind of just like a bummer. I, um... I just shaved my legs and you know how you sometimes get those little scabs um i had to go to a shoot right away and i was pulling on these skinny jeans and ripped open the scab and like as we're shooting a little like blood just starts to spread in the pants down by my ankle oh my god and they're like um uh i think you're bleeding and i was like oh my god i've ruined these pants like the entire ankle area just looks disgusting and I didn't know what to do. They're like, um, you could just get changed back into your clothes and I was never hired again by that company. Do you like musicals? And if so, which ones have you seen? Which one is your favorite? I love musicals. It's so hard to pick. I'd probably say Wicked and then Come From Away. Actually, number one, Kinky Boots. Oh my God. So I'll say Kinky Boots, Wicked, Come From Away. Okay guys, that is all I have time for today, unfortunately. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for visiting my channel. Um, if you liked it, make sure you subscribe so that you can see some of the other videos I'm gonna do. I plan to do some really cool ones, a lot about modeling, um, a whole video about America's Next Top Model, some vlogs, some funny little skits with my friends and stuff. So stay tuned, comment what you liked, comment what you wanna see, and I hope to see you soon. Love you all, stay beautiful.